Mike Bond joined now by the UFC lightweight champion, the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Islam Makachev. Uh, Islam, thank you for doing this, man. How are you? I'm good, man. Very well. Awesome. Um, good to so see you we, again. Yeah, you too, man. Um, so I want to ask, we obviously last saw you in October, and when Dana White announced the fight between Charles Oliveira and Armin Sarukian, he said you were still dealing with an injury in that video. Um, are you uh, healthy now? or? Now I'm healthy. I, I told them I will be ready in the March. But they asked me to fight uh, beginning the February. That time I have the small injury. I'm not ready 100%. But I told them in the March I will be ready. But they say in March we don't have any option. <laughs> but I say, okay, I have, I have the belt. Just give me someone. I will be ready. Yeah, and obviously you, you've made it clear kind of over the past couple of days you'd like to fight in June and against Dustin Poirier after his win. Is that what you're hoping for right now? Yeah, because I know Dustin, it's not deserved the title of that, but we don't have any option right now. Everybody busy, but I have I want to fight, you know. I want to fight like three times in the year. That's why I just have to call someone. And Borea is free now. And uh, he showed, like, excellent performance and uh, scored the beautiful knockout. That's why he's free now. He's healthy. And I asked him to fight in June, maybe. Yeah, and I, I, you kind of said it there. Like, um, you just want to set something for June, right? Because you don't think any of those winners from UFC 300 will be able to fight two months later. Yeah, I think it's no no one going to be ready. But maybe someone will be ready. But, you know, I have to fight. I don't care. And I'm healthy now. I'm training every day. And I need someone. Yeah, of course. And Dustin Poirier, obviously, you know, a big name. Um, did you think he was yeah, gonna? Yeah, did you think he's he was gonna win man. that fight? He beat Lara, Lara, top guy. He's a, he's a legend, you know. And the fight with him, it's gonna be good for me, you know, for the history, for the everything, you know. He's a legend. He beat Lara, top guys, and he's yeah. a tough opponent too. He have good guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he said uh the other day he was gonna guillotine you if you guys fight um but he's never won with it but he likes doing it are you were you surprised not, not he kept me. going for it <laughs> not me but i hope one day he, he will finish someone <laughs> how do you think a fight between you two goes if it does happen same things i will take him down he will try to give him guillotine and i will take his back and choke him that's it <laughs> <laughs> so uh, has the UFC given you any indication or your management like do they seem interested in this idea no but some I heard some news in the media and that's it nothing more yeah um, so I mean people have been kind of waiting for a fight announcement for you I know it came out at one point uh, Dana White said they offered Leon Edwards a bunch of fights for UFC 300 and someone reported that you were one of the names did they offer you that fight yeah. with Leon honestly yes but it's not possible man because we have Ramadan now one month we fasting and uh, it's not possible to to training in Ramadan, you know, it's very hard. You have to fasting when the when the sun rise, and you know, like all all day you have to fasting. Just like five six hour, we have to. You can you can eat something and training this time it's very hard. I ask Ale, can they push the UFC two hundred like two weeks? I will be ready, <laughs> but he say it's not possible. Does that make you sad? Because you, I know how bad you want to course, be double course. champion. It's a yeah. dream fight for me, you know. And, uh, you know, I don't have, like, any small chance to fight in the UFC 300. That's why I'm very upset, man. It's a big deal, you know, big fight with Leon Edwards for the second belt. But this time, I missed the chance. And I'm yeah. very upset, actually.
Yeah. I mean, it happens. And obviously, you know, Ramadan, a very important time for you and your religion. And I know it's a, yeah. a time of like of reflection and growth and everything. Um, do you feel like every Ramadan, like, do you, do you feel you grow as a person during this time a lot? Of course, just one month in uh, one year, you like have to give your religion. You know, that's why I don't, but maybe people don't understand, but I don't have small chance to prepare for this fight. If I have, yeah. like, believe me, I have small chance, I will try it, but it's not possible. In this yeah. level, it's very hard, you know. No, I totally respect it. And I, I wish more people out there did as well. But, you know, the fans always want to see you guys fighting. I get that. But you need to take the time for yourself. So I understand for but sure. But one day, I hope they will call me again. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm sure if you guys keep winning, it'll it'll eventually happen. But I know now you're focused on lightweight. Um, I'm curious what you think of these these fights coming up at UFC 300. Uh, first with Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway for the BMF title. Uh, how do you think that fight goes? Uh, honestly, I don't want to people make upset, but this fight for. This is a useless fight for a useless belt and uh, nobody gains nothing from this fight. You know, man, Gage, if now look, who have, I have two, three guys, Sarukian, Oliveira and Gage. But Sarukian and Oliveira, I beat them already, both of them. But I have Gage, you know, he deserves his fight for the title now. He's this is his, uh, you know, like good time for him. You know, he's show good performance last two fight, and uh, for the Holloway, he have already new uh, champion, and he can fight now with Tapuria. But you know, they put them each other. But I don't think I I don't know this fight for me. It's nothing. But for the fans, I think it's gonna be good fight. It's they both like to to like give damage you know like to fight and like like to boxing always but for the for me and for division it's fight mean nothing yeah, I saw Habib uh, a couple of weeks ago in Vancouver and we did an interview and he said he just didn't understand why they made this fight because you wanted to fight in June and they could have just had Gaethje fight in June and now he's kind of risking that if he loses this fight. Yeah, but can you imagine if Gage lose? And uh, okay, if Gage lose, he lose everything, you know, his chance, and I don't know when he's gonna, and when he gonna fight for the title again. And if Holloway lose, who will fight with the Topuria? They try to, uh, like it's gonna be a good fight, Tapure versus Holloway. But we have Mosar there, but I don't know. Then I don't want to put him against Tapure because I think Mosar can beat him. But if they put me versus Gage and Holloway is Tapura, it's it's good, I think, for the UFC, for the both division. But right now, in my opinion, it's useless fight. Yeah. And what about uh, Oliveira and Sarukian? Um, did you like that they made that fight? And who do you think wins? Honestly, it uh, will be a good fight. And uh, I don't know who will win. Like 50-50, they both have good chance. And I'm very excited to watch this fight. Uh, because I beat them both already. They are both upset with me. And... Uh, they both want very much. Yeah, they seem to want that very badly. Um, do you think, you know, like, is there a good chance you will fight June 1st? Do you think there's any chance they try to get you to fight in Saudi Arabia instead? Or do you think it's going to be the pay-per-view June 1st? I think it's going to be a paper fight. I don't mm -hmm. know where, but good time for me is June, July, because I want to fight again in this year. year. Fight yeah. now and end of the year somewhere again maybe in Madison Square Garden yeah is that a dream of yours I know they like putting you in in, in uh, Abu Dhabi which is always a couple weeks before Madison Square Garden would you rather do New York this uh, year and fight in that historic arena you know 
like how many years like every year i fight in abu dhabi but i want to fight in madison square garden because this is a history you know one time in my life i have to fight in this arena yeah for sure uh, i'm curious a couple other things i want to ask you you were in dubai in december and you're at that boxing event and you and Conor McGregor were sitting across the ring from each other, and a bunch of people yeah. were posting that. Do you guys put, talk to each them. other at all? No, we don't see each other. Just they put me in the other side, and after the ring, he sit there. Uh, it's some my my friend like invite me to the boxing event. It's I, honestly, it's very interesting. They have couple. It's a good fight. One of the guy from Dagestan, he's an Olympic champion and he have good opponent. They show good fight. You know, I very like to watch boxing. Yeah, definitely. And I know, like, do you think this fight between Connor and Michael Chandler will happen? I I first asked you about it over a year ago in Australia and you're like, when might this happen? And we're 13 months later and there's still no date. You know, honestly, I hope this happened, but in this situation, like honestly, Chandler to look very bad because it's like how many years he waiting for the for this fight. He every night he go to the bed and have dream, I will fight with Conor McGregor. Man, you 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 not young. You have chance to fight someone, make money, and after you can fight with Conor again because what happened? He already lost last fight. Lose one more time, make money, and go to fight. Maybe if you lose again, Connor see his fight and he think, oh, okay, I will, I can beat this guy. <laughs> and if these fights happen, yeah, but right it. now it, I don't know. It's good fight for the fans, but for division, it's mean nothing. Yeah, fair play. What about Gamrot? Do you think he's doing? He's close to a title shot soon. He had that win over yeah. Dos Anjos last weekend. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, Gamrot is good, you know. He have good school, uh, good skills, and uh, I think one day he can fight for the title. Yeah, um, just a couple more things. I really appreciate the time. Um, Alexander Volkanovski obviously fought Tapuria in February. Do you think he came back too soon after you knocked him out? Of course, honestly, An- Alex is a good fighter. He is a warrior. Everybody know he can fight. I don't know every day these guys can fight. But I always say he, his team is very bad, you know, because this mistake, it's not Alex's mistake. This mistake the team made because team have to sit with him and tell them, hey, it's too, too soon, you know. He have like, you know, very bad, tough knockout last fight, you know. And he have to like rest minimum three four months without training nothing you have to like do some recovery and just wait you know and he go to the fight again too too soon you know it's big mistake yeah I but think a lot he's of people... a warrior he's a warrior i can he can come come back but still he have to, he needs some time you know he have to give his body he have to listen his body and give some time for recovery yeah, and I know you uh, You sent a, a nice tweet about Ilya Tapuria after he won, but then he's kind of posting Instagram stories about you. He said his his dream fight is Habib. Um, do you think one day if, if you both keep winning, you guys could maybe fight? I don't know why he, like, talk about everyone now. I just, after his fight, I post something like, say congratulation and uh, and he posts something in Instagram but I don't understand why and I see some fake news you know Islam say something about Tapuria but I don't remember I say something you know and he, he tried to like post something my fight like when I lose but he's a good you know he's good he have some uh, he have good boxing and uh, he have hard fight in his division with Mosar. I think it's this fight. Honestly, I believe Mosar can beat him because he's a bad match for him, bad stylistic fight for Tapuria. Tapuria, mm-hmm. but 
We will see. We, he talk about uh, 150 fight, 170, boxing, everything now. But he have to focus on his division. Yeah. Do you think that's something more the champions need to do? I know you've want, you've mentioned wanting to move up, but I feel like you think you want to do that once you've beaten all the contenders, right? You want to defend your belt some more times before you do that? Yeah. Honestly, I want to defend my belt this, uh, like... Honestly, I have one fight in my division now. It's a gauge. But other guy, I beat already. If you see want to give me, give them again, Sarukian or Oliveira, who they won, who they win, no problem. I will beat them, and after I will jump to the other division. But first of all, all champion have to close all job in his division after they can jump. Now... Now, uh, O'Malley just won, show good performance, and he want to fight other division. He want to fight boxing, but you know, they make some show, but they have to deserve, you know. Yeah. Because O'Malley okay. and Tapuria, they both them have some tough match in their division. Tapu uh, O'Malley have. Uh, uh, Mirab and Tapuria have Mosar and Tapuria also have Holloway. Yeah. That's right. They have some job. And Nomali also has Umar, right? Umar is coming soon for that belt. Umar, Umar is coming very soon. Believe yeah. me, he is coming very soon. You know, this guy has some injury. He has some, you know, hard way to be champion. Like always, our team has some problem with yeah. the opponents. Like Habib have myself and now it's Omar, but this guy is coming soon, believe me. Definitely. Um, just two more things. Who do you think out of all these names in lightweight right now, the fight's coming up, everything, who do you think is the, the hardest matchup for you? Like who I know you've beaten a lot of them already, but maybe some of them make adjustments for a rematch. Who do you think Honestly, is the toughest fight? Gajin, Sarukan, and Oliveira, the guys, it's a high level. They have good skills like wrestling, striking, grappling, everything. That's why I don't think some of them is going to be easy. So everybody is going to be hard. But I am a champion because I am training more than everybody. And that's why I just will be ready. Just send me contract and that's it. And I want to fight soon, you know. Yeah. Give me something um, soon. I haven't asked you this before, but right now you have 13 wins in a row and the record for UFC is 16 with Anderson Silva. Do you think, is that a record that, that you want one day to get to 17 wins in a row and have the longest win ever in the UFC? I can make 12, 20, you know, just <laughs> give me someone. I can, I can make more. I don't want Great. to wait too much. I have to fight every four months, three months. That's why. Just give me yeah. some. Some contract, some name, and I will be ready. So perfect world, Dustin Poirier, June 1st, and that's the next tile defense. Yeah. June, beginning the June, July, Poirier, or some of them, and end of the year, one more. Perfect. Well, I hope that happens for you, man. I think it's a great fight with you and Dustin. I think you laid it out well, why it makes sense right now. So I hope they, they book you soon, man. And I really appreciate you doing this interview. I know you don't do a lot of these, so it really means a lot to me as long that you took this time. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you.